Criminals can be apprehended in a number of different ways. Law enforcement employs very sophisticated techniques such as forensics analysis, hair and fiber evidence, CCTV footage, of course, interviewing witnesses, but sometimes, just sometimes, the criminal is so stupid that they get themselves caught. And we're going to talk about three such criminals in today's episode. And I think you'll have fun hearing about them. And thankfully, they're right where they belong, behind bars. You can't make this up. Albert Bailey, a 27-year-old man, actually called the People's Bank of Fairfield, Connecticut, letting them know that he was on the way to rob them and demanded they put together $100,000 in large bills before he got there. Now, he sent an accomplice who got into the bank before the bank initiated lockdown, but certainly an alert employee had already called 911. After being handed only $900, the accomplice realized that the bank had been locked down and he politely requested uh, that the bank let him out, which they had happily obliged because they knew patrol cars were waiting outside. And yes, of course, both were caught. Getting good sleep is important. However, for all you aspiring criminals out there, don't fall asleep while you're trying to rob a property. But that's exactly what Mark Smith did. Uh, apparently he was high on Valium and drunk on vodka. And he broke into a home while the homeowner was there. She was downstairs ironing and she heard some rustling, went upstairs to check on the noise and saw a pair of legs sticking out from under her bed. And the legs belonged to Mark Smith. Didn't take long for the police to arrive. And here's Mark Smith's mugshot. And finally, as the old story goes, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. But that's exactly what Derek Mosley did. In fact, he brought a knife and a baseball bat in his attempt to rob a gun store. And I think you can guess how that all turned out for Derek Mosley, maybe one of the dumbest criminals of all. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Silly Laws and Stupid Criminals. My name is Philip Macko. I'm a five-time published author and the host of the Muddy Waters podcast. Actually, it's this way, and uh, podcast and YouTube series. And I do these videos on a weekly basis just to have a little bit of fun because the topics of scams that I cover are pretty weighty. So appreciate you joining. Hope you got a laugh. And please, uh, if you haven't done so already, click the thumbs up button. Drop any comments in. I always respond. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It'll be a lot of fun and a lot of good information to keep you safe in coming episodes. Hope you have an excellent day.